Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another top 10 facts video. Yeah, video. So yeah, I haven't done one since October, and the last one I did was for The Shining. I've, this is my third one. I did one for Psycho and another one for The Shining. And now we're going to do it for the Oscars, the Academy Awards, the Oscars, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, the reason I haven't really been doing any of these is because they're a little... Not that they're difficult to do. Um, it's just that they're, they take a little bit of time to do. And I'm normally really busy, but I wanted to do one for the Academy Awards. I'm going to be doing a few Academy Award videos. Um, my, the biggest snubs, my predictions, this video, and then my reaction to every single... And then have a video giving my reaction to every single Academy Award winner. Um, live time kind of situation. And I'll probably post that on Monday. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'll probably po post this one on Sunday. Probably Sunday, maybe sa maybe late Saturday to Sunday. Um, so yeah, maybe depending on how this goes. So yeah, as you know, ten facts. So yeah, start off. Let's start off with fact number ten. <clears throat> okay, so for the first fact number ten, we're gonna be talking about the first Oscars. Or the first Academy Awards, whatever. Which so yeah, the first Oscars were held at the ho at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel on May twenty sixth. I mean May sixteenth, nineteen twenty nine. There was two hundred and seventy people in attendance, and it's the only Academy Award show to not have been televised nor had it been radioed. It's also the shortest one at fifteen minutes long, and the Best Picture winner for that year was Wings. So yeah, it had to start somewhere. <laughs> On to number nine. Speaking of the Oscars, let's talk about the statuette. So, although no one knows why the statuette is actually called the Oscar, uh, the most popular story is the fact that one of the produ uh, production assistants or the librarian for the Oscars, um, Margaret Herrick, said that the statue resembled her uncle Oscar. So that's the most popular reason as to why it's called the Oscar. There's also a rumor that one of the actresses that won Best Oscar earlier on in the 20s and 30s said that it resembled her husband or that it looked like her husband, which is also called Oscar. So, yeah, but for the most part, the rumor is that it resembled someone called Oscar. And it wasn't really, the statue that was finally adapted or called the Oscar officially at, at around 1953, 1954. So, yep, the Oscar. Actually, I do wonder how, I want to actually do, I actually do wonder how it legitimately got his name. Like, it's legitimate name. I wonder how he got it. On to number eight. Okay, so for number eight, for number eight, we're going to be discussing some of the best picture winners. So, yeah, as we previously mentioned, the first Academy Award, the first movie to have one best picture was Wings. Now, what are some other first? or onlys, or whatever. Silence of the Lamb is the only horror movie to have one Best Picture. Midnight Cowboy is the only X-rated film to have one Best Picture. And The Godfather Part Two is possibly the only m sequel to have one Best Picture. I think, I'm not sure about Lord of the Rings. I, I want to say Lord of the Rings, one Best Picture, but I completely forgot. So, yeah. So yeah, Best Prequel, Silence of the Lamb. Yeah, they don't really take horror movies that one to consideration. I mean, yes, they had The Exorcist. Um, they did nominate The Exorcist, I believe, um, for Best Horror Movie, but you know, that, that one lost. And as for X-rated films, I believe that's basically rated R films at this point, in my opinion. I mean, I'm, or unless I'm mistaken, so who knows. As for movie sequels, there's a few... I think there are a few movies that have been nominated. Movie sequels that have been nominated, but I'm not sure, but that's something I need to look up. But, yeah, it's pretty interesting as a whole. Next up, and we're going to be talking about a famous picture from the Oscars. I think we all know which one I'm talking about. Uh, number seven, we're talking about... Okay, number seven. Yeah, Ellen's Oscar selfie from 2014. So basically, that's basically one of the few pictures that has probably broken the internet as a whole. It's the most shared photo of all time as of now, and it's the most shared Oscar-related anything as of now. That picture includes Ellen DeGeneres, obviously, Julia um, Julia Roberts, Jared Lee, Leto, Meryl Streep, Brad Pitt, Jennifer Lawrence, Channing Tatum, 
Kevin Spacey, Lupita Nyong'o, Angelina Jolie, and Lupita Nyong'o's brother, Peter Nyong'o. So, yeah, it's a total of 12 people right there. And to be honest, I've, I've seen the footage of right before they're taking the, 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 the selfie. I'm pretty sure that Bruce Dern, Nicholas Holt, and Chitwell Edgefort could have probably squeezed themselves in there if they really wanted to. Uh, maybe even Benedict Cumberbatch, they could have all squeezed them, themselves in there. I mean, Jared Leto ran like halfway across the stage or whatever just to get in the picture. So, you know, if Jared Leto could like run for about five seconds just to get there, I'm pretty sure Bruce, I mean, maybe, maybe not Bruce Stern because he is is older, but I'm pretty sure Nicholas Holt and Benedict Cumberbatch could have just gotten up and just, you know, walked three steps just to try to get into the, into the picture. So yeah, but that is the most shared, retweeted photo uh, of all time, basically, or, uh, of all time, or one of by this point, but I'm pretty, pretty sure it's like top three by this, at this point. If it's not number one, it's probably within the top three, but as of now, it's the most shared photo at the Academy Awards for sure, and it's one of the most shared photos of all time, retweeted and all that. So, yeah, it has a total of 12 people. Shit, that's that's amazing. And even after that, Jared Leto barely got into the picture because you couldn't even really see, like, half his face. He's pressing right against Jennifer Lawrence. So, yeah. A lot of people in that photo. A lot of people. So, yeah. On to number six, which would have to be... Okay, so for number six, as of 1950, or as of the 1950 50 Academy Awards, awards, I was about to see the election for some reason, but as of the 1950 Academy Awards, if you want to give away your Oscar, you have to give it to the to AMPAs, which is the people who make the Academy Awards, and you have to sell, you have to offer it to them for a dollar, and it's basically contractual, it is required if you want to win the Oscar, and if you win the Oscar... I don't know how it works out, but if you want to win the Oscar, or once you're nominated or whatever, or once you win the Oscar, you have to sign a contract saying that, yes, I will sell and post the Oscar for a dollar. So yeah, but any awards given before 1950, they could be sold at auction, and there have been statuettes or Oscar awards that have been found in auction, um, that have been found in auction, and they've been sold for crazy amount, amounts of money. In fact, Steven Spielberg even bought two Oscars, Oscars for about five hundred thousand dollars each, and gave it back to the Academy Awards for preservation. So, pretty interesting how that how that kind of comes about. So, yeah, that's kind of. I mean, I guess I don't know. That's kind of a douche move, you know, selling it for a dollar. I mean, can't you give you know? Can't you give them more money? I mean, a dollar is pretty cheap. I mean, maybe a hundred thousand. Right, he said, I mean, at least a thousand dollars at the very least, I think. I mean, here's the thing, that thing's made of gold, okay? Are you really going to sell 24 karat gold for a dollar? I mean, at least sell it for, like, whatever the value of gold is at the time. So, I mean, at least that'd be somewhat fair. Um, so, yeah, now onto number five, which, speaking about the Oscar and how and what it's made out of, we're going to be talking about. Okay, so speaking of which, uh... During the Oscar, um, during the Oscar Awards between 1940 and 1945, um, basically all the Academy Awards that took place during World War II, the Oscars were made out of plaster due to metal shortages um, during the time because they needed all the metal to be sent out to soldiers for weaponry, for ammo, guns, ammunition, and all that type of stuff. So they were made out of a special type of plaster. When the war ended and at around 1945, 1946, everybody who was ever given an Oscar during during that five-year period, we were given a proper Oscar made out of the uh, made out of the type of metal made out of metal because they hadn't been able to make it out of gold yet, so they made it, made it out of metal as it was normally made out of by that time. So that's pretty interesting. Now on to number four. Okay, so number four, we're going to be talking about the youngest and oldest people to have won an Oscar. So the youngest person to have won an Oscar is Tatum O'Neill for Paper Moon, and she was 10 years old when she won. The oldest person to have won an Oscar is is Christopher Plummer for Beginners when he was 82 years old. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can't be any younger to win an Oscar, I don't think. Maybe nine years old, but even after that, just 10 years old is impressive as all shit. 82, I'm pretty sure it could be older than 82 and prob probably win an Oscar. So, yeah, I mean, I've never heard of Tatum O'Neill. Christopher Plummer is a pretty good actor from what I've seen. So, I'm pretty sure he deserves the Oscar for beginners. So, 
Nice. And for number three, we have the person with the most Oscar wins slash nominations. So, and that is Walt Disney. Yeah, of course, Disney takes over the goddamn Oscars. I mean, they do it every year when they do when they do an, an uh, when they yeah, when they do an animated feature film uh, or just animated anything as a whole. Um, I mean, they have three Oscar nominations this year. Yeah, with Inside Out. Um, they have Sanjay Super Team, the short film, and then they have the screenplay for Inside Out as well. So, yeah. So, Walt Disney, he's, he won the award 22 times. So, he's won the award 22 times uh, and has been nominated a total of 59 times. So, that's just, that's just fucking insane. I mean, you talk about Meryl Streep um, being nominated a lot of times with 18. This is a lot of times. This is a lot of times, okay? <laughs> this is a lot of times. So... That is shit as impressive. But now, which movies have won the most Oscars? Let's find out. Now, as for the movies that have won the most Oscars in total, or whatever, I guess. Yeah, in total. Um, we have Titanic, Ben-Hur from 1959, and Lord of the Rings, Return of the Kings. Each of them having won 11 Oscars in total. So... Yeah, me, yeah. Um, they've all they all won the big five, I believe. I'm pretty sure. So, shit, eleven Oscars, and I don't know. Could the Revenant be up there with them at, by tomorrow? I mean, that movie got nominated for twelve Oscars. I mean, can it win all twelve Oscars, or can it just win eleven? Funny thing is, all of these movies, Titanic, Ben Hur, and Lord of the Rings: Return of the Kings, each of them were nominated for eleven Oscars. They were, you know, they were nominated and won all 11 Oscars, won every single award they were nominated, which makes it even all that more impressive. Impressive. So can The Revenant beat out all these three movies, or will it be, or will it just be, you know, 11 Oscars, so will it be tied with them, will it beat them out, or will or will these three stand as the top three movies in Academy Award winning history, or will Revenant beat them or be with them, who knows? That will be interesting to see tomorrow, because The Revenant has the most nominations, this year with 12 so yeah now what is the longest ceremony out of academy award history that is going to be our final fact and that is the 2002 academy awards so yeah we already know that the shortest academy awards is the first one standing or taking you know taking 15 minutes give or take a few maybe 15 maybe 16 minutes tops the longest ceremony ceremony is the 2002 Academy Awards at four hours and 23 minutes. Holy shit! Holy shit! And I believe that's the first year they had the first animated feature film category. I believe, or an, yeah, animated feature film and short film category. I believe that's the first year they even they had it to begin with. So although that does explain why it's a little bit longer than the the other ones, still, damn. Four hours, holy shit, bruh. <laughs> that would take a long ass time. Let's just go with that. that that's gonna, that's long as shit. It was hosted by Whoopi Goldberg, so yeah. And just to go over the facts one more time, number ten, the first Academy Awards were held in at the Ho at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel on May sixteenth, nineteen twenty seven. There's a t there's a total of two uh, two hundred seventy people. Um, who attended, and the Best Picture winner was Wings, and it lasted 15 minutes. Uh, number nine, although there's, although we don't know where the term Oscar comes from, most people think it's because Margaret Herrick um, said resembles her her uncle Oscar. That's the most popular story. Um, Silence of the Lamb is the only horror movie to have won Best Picture. Midnight Cowboy is the only X-rated film to win Best Picture, and Godfather Part Two is either only or the first um, movie to have won Best Picture sequel. So yeah, on number seven, Helen's Oscar selfie is probably the most popular photo online, most retweeted, most shared photo online, and it has Ellen, Ellen um, has Ellen DeGeneres, Jared Leto, Brad Pitt, Jennifer Lawrence, Channing Tatum, Meryl Streep, Julia Roberts, Kevin Spacey, Lupita Nyong'o, Angelina Jolie, and Peter Nyong'o, which is Lupita's brother. Number six, if you wanna if you wanna give away your Oscar, you have to sell it to the people who make the Oscars for a dollar and plus for a dollar. Um, number five during World War Two, 
the Oscars were made out, made out of a special type of plaster, but after the war ended, they gave them an actual metal um, Oscar. Um, number four, the youngest person to have won an Oscar is Tatum O'Neill for Paper Moon at 10 years old, and the oldest person is Christopher Plummer for Beginners at 82. Number three, number three is that Walt Disney ha has won a total of to 22 Oscars and has been nominated a total of 59 times, so that includes his win. So that means he lost very fast. That means he lost uh 37 times yeah and number two it's tight it's the fact that titanic ben-hur from 1959 and lord of the rings return of the kings each won 11 oscars making them the highest winning movies in oscar history or academy award history and number one the longest oscar to ever be is the one from 2002 hosted by whoopi goldberg which lasted four hours and 23 minutes so yeah that is all the oscar facts i have for you today and that's i think this is the third third out of four Oscar videos I will be doing this weekend. The fourth one will be will be produced on Monday, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, I guess produced is a proper term. Um, produced, made, shown on Monday. So, what the fuck do I know? So, yeah, can't wait to see the Academy Awards tomorrow. I'll probably have to skip The Walking Dead, but who gives a shit after this? And yeah, that's basically it for now. Subscribe, comment down below your thoughts on these facts. Like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. Whatever you guys prefer. And who, who do you think are going to be the big winners tomorrow at the, or today, tomorrow, depending on when I post this at the Oscars? Comment all that down below. Let me know. Like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.